It's been more than five months since the Marshall Fire destroyed more than a thousand homes and took two lives in our community. And with your help, Denver 7 Gives has been a part of the recovery process. Now families in the fire zone have something to celebrate. Denver 7's Megan Lopez is live in Superior. And Megan, the cleanup in your neighborhood there is mostly finished. Yeah, mostly finished. Good news, Jacqueline and Bayon. Um, you can see behind me just really empty land. It's marked by a little bit of hay, lots of orange flags, and of course these plot numbers right here that tell the homeowners where their homes used to be. But there is a lot that's coming for this neighborhood. Today, dozens of people gathered for this barbecue and event that you see behind me to share some food, some laughs, and a lot of hope for this community. Mother Nature is fickle, unpredictable. That's something the residents of the Sagamore neighborhood in Superior know all too well. I was at home and I was able to get out with my dog and, and not much else. They knew it the day the Marshall Fire destroyed every home in this neighborhood and they're reminded of it now. When wind and rain blew away their tents at a community barbecue. But not even the bad weather could damper the spirits of this community. Not today. We're here to celebrate a major milestone for the, the area of Sagamore. 171 homes were lost with the fires, but we've um, gotten a majority of the cleanup done, and we wanted to celebrate the milestone. A milestone that doesn't look like much with the empty fields, but means that this community can finally start to move forward with rebuilding. Our house is uh, two streets up um, over that way. Yeah, you can't, I mean, it's hard to pick it out. And people like Dan Cole can get excited about their future in a new home. We're waiting until they're ready to start talking with us about what our house will look like. Um, so, and we expect that to happen in the next month or two. Superior Rising has played a big part in that recovery effort. When we founded Superior Rising, none of us knew what we needed to do. We just knew that we we're going to need more people to help. Uh, and that still is really where we are. Throughout all this, we're creating community that we didn't really have before. With people getting to know each other because we're going through all this process together. They put on this event featuring food, music and massages and even a June visit from Santa. We have uh, we have all sorts of stuffed animals and uh, um, we, we delivered them to the children. So no, the weather might not be perfect, but this moment is special and it deserves to be remembered as the community rebuilds. So we just wanted to thank you guys so much for all of the work, all the effort that you guys are putting into this community. So on behalf of Denver 7 Gives and all of our wonderful donors, we have a check here for you guys for $25,000 just to say thank you and hopefully it'll continue the good work. Absolutely, thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate you and all the viewers. So one of the really special moments that we've been seeing all afternoon that you're taking a live look at right now is a lot of these families who called this neighborhood home out here revisiting their plots of land, kind of pointing out to their neighbors what they've got planned and kind of just reminiscing over how far they've come over the last few months. It's just something that shows how really this community is coming together. So other than the music right now, it's really quiet, but soon guys, the sounds of construction are gonna be filling this neighborhood behind me as the homes start to go up again. I'm live, Megan Lopez, Denver 7. That is so good to see, thank you. Yeah.